So without further ado, I will uh, explain about the calculation for under them, respond, uh, critically them and uh, over them, respond. So each them, uh, we, we use a formula which is uh, alpha is equal to one over two RC, omega is equal to one over uh, third LC. And with uh, the three of the them, we, we should find the S1 and S2. So other them is uh, less, uh, alpha is less than omega, Critically, them is uh, alpha is equal to omega, not, and over them case is uh, uh, alpha is greater than omega. So to find the VT and IT, we will use a certain formula for each uh, case. So over so over them. We use VT is equal to I1 exponent uh, negative AT plus A2 exponent negative AT. So after this, we should find AT then A1 and A2 to complete the uh, VT. So after we uh, finish the find the value of AT and A1 then A2, we we should find we should we can uh, find the it which is using the formula one over l uh, integrate vt dt and then we will get it but given is is for a so we we put it also inside our IT equation. So the final answer for IT over them is for negative 2.2515 uh, exponent negative 11.70 uh, plus 0 0.2507 exponent negative at, at 7.38. So next is critically them. So VT is equal to uh, a2 plus a1t uh, exponent negative at t and then the same for uh, critical them we should we uh, should uh, solve the a1 then a2 and then put it inside our original uh, equation and then the same we can find our it with the same uh, formula which is one over l uh, to get v dt And it is the calculation. So doctor can check it in our report. So IT, the same for the, we put our IS inside it. And then for under them, VT is equal to uh, exponent negative AT uh, BT cos WDT plus B2 sin uh, WDT. And then the same, we should find our value for B1 and B2. And then we can put it inside our VT equation. For IT, is equal to one over T, one over L, uh, integrate VT DT. And this is the calculation. And then we put is inside our it which is it equal to 4 plus 0.355 sin 305.05t plus 1.9934 cos 305.05t exponent negative at 3.33t so next i will pass it with to my friends which is Awang, eh, Haris. I will continue. I will continue the. Okay, Awang. I will continue the presentation. My name is Awang Aswan Nishan bin Awang Zaidan. Matrix CE two zero zero one two eight. So for question two, 
we should find the value of ILT and VCT. So given the circuit, so the first step is uh, I'm using mesh analysis to find the current on each loop. So, okay. Uh, since uh, there are three meshes, since there are three loops, so there is three mesh current that need to be calculated. So by using calculator, then I'll solve the equation. So I'll get I1 is equal to 4.19. Angle is 55.59 ampere. I2 is 1.997, angle 70.24. And I3 is 1.913, angle 65.47 ampere. So next is to find the VCT. So since we know the current they are flowing in the I2 and I3, so I'm using, I, I'm applying the KCL, uh, uh, KCL rule, which is I2 equal to I3 plus I4, which is current in equal to current out. So the current that we want is I4. So we uh, reconstruct the equation. It will become I4 equal to I2 minus I3. So we'll get I4 is equal to 0 0.13, angle 130.57 ampere. Only then we can find the uh, v, VCT. So V is equal to, by using Ohm's law, so we know that V is equal to I4 uh, multiplied with ZC. So we'll get 36.6 .6 angle 40.57 voltage. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ahmad Haris Daniel and I will be presenting the uh, simulation. So for the simulation, we are required to construct three circuit uh, to simulate over dam, critically dam and under dam cases. So for, for these three circuits, we use the same value of inductor and capacitor, which is one Henry and 10 microfarad. And we only change uh, the value of resistor. Where for over them, we use 100 ohm, critically them 158 ohm. And lastly, under them, 600 ohm. So after we construct the circuit, uh, we then uh, test our simulation by going uh, to transient analysis. Select the time frame of our uh, simulation to be 0 0.06 second and then the output based on what uh, we are trying to to get so right now uh, what we are trying to get is vt so we remove this uh, current across the inductor and only select the voltage across the capacitor since we are calculating vt and then run the simulation so this uh, is the graph that we get based on our circuit where the blue one is under them and the green one is over them and lastly the red one is critically them so based on this graph uh, under them we all know that under, under them response oscillates without a, de a decaying envelope the more under them the system the more oscillation and the longer it takes for it to reach steady state as we can see right here so the damping ratio for under them is always less than one and then for the next uh, graph which is critically them critically them a critically them response is a response that reaches the steady state a value the fastest with, uh, without being under them it is related to critical points in the sense that it straddles the boundary of under them and over them response. The damping ratio for this uh, simula uh, simulation is always equal to one. In an ideal case, there should be no oscillation about the steady state value. And lastly, for the voltage over them, which is the green one. So over them, uh, the response does not oscillate about the steady state value, but takes longer to reach steady states as you can see right here 
there is a difference between over them and critically them. In over them, the a damping ratio is always greater than one. Okay, next is the uh, graph for IT. So this is the graph for IT for uh, uh, for all of our circuit, which is in our cases, over them, under them, and critically them, where the blue one is under them, the green one is over them, and the red one is critically them. Okay. Next, uh, we have to, which is question C, where we have, uh, I mean D, where we have to find 80% of the VT value. So based on the graph, one is the 80% of the peak value. And we get the time 1.20 millisecond. And for critically them, the peak voltage, is, the peak current is 235.2 ampere. And 80% of the peak current is 187.4546. And the time it takes is 1.56 millisecond. And lastly, for under them case, the peak current is 444.91. And then 80% of that uh, value is 356.23, leaving us with the time it takes to reach 80%, 2.47 millisecond. That's all for me. Thank you. So I will continue to uh, the simulation of question two, which is by using the, the mesh analysis. So we have prop 1, prop 2, and prop 3 on each mesh. And we, we need to calculate the voltage of uh, capacitor on C1. So we use single frequency at C to determine the, 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 the value of each prop. So the frequency is 15.92, which has been calculated based on the omega. And we pretty much get the same uh, value that we have calculated manually. So for mesh one, I1, so we have 4.11478 uh, degree, 60 degree. And we have 2.236 for I2, 78 degree. And we have voltage across VCT is 56.25 with 33 degrees. So this is the uh, the response of each VCT and ILT. So as you can see, the red one is for I1, the current, and the, the green one is also for the current at I2, and for the blue one is uh, voltage across the VCT. So I'll pass it to my friend. So for the conclusion, we can uh, simulate and examine the response of the RLC circuit in both DC and AC form through, the, through this project. Furthermore, by utilizing our own calculation, we were able to develop and successfully produce over them, currently critically them and under them response as well as the sinusoidal steady state. Thank you. This is this all that's all for from my group.